I'll just ask you uh, your thoughts on what happened tonight, maybe just in particular the volume of shots that they had at you guys and what, what you saw on your own end. Well, I saw a team come out and try and um, shoot to break another team down. Our goaltender was excellent. Saw a 2-2 hockey game going into the third period, and we made a critical error and ended up in the back of our net. We lost the game 3-2. In the uh, in the D zone overall, Jay, what would you say is uh, how would you describe what you're seeing there, and and just maybe the opportunities you're giving up, the coverage, the just in general, what are you seeing in the D zone? Well, you're asking me about tonight's tonight, yeah. game. Yeah, tonight's game. I think we saw a team try and volume shoot to break uh, break a team down. They, they have good players as well. They did some nice things. We weren't as quick and physical as we wanted to be in uh, the defensive zone. Our goalie stood tall. We're in the going into the third period, tied 2-2. Um, and we made a critical error and ended up in the back of our net. Jay, Dylan Holloway, uh, he got promoted. What did you like about his game that led to the more? Yeah, I thought he was skating. Um, I thought he made his line mates better. I moved him around earlier in the in the first period and the second period. And uh, we were just looking for a spark. And uh, we moved Yamamoto up, and, and we kind of reconfigured Nuge's line there. And I thought Dylan played a good game. A lot of your veterans are talking about they're kind of tired of talking about wanting to have a better start and, and come out better. It's, they say they talk about it lots. Obviously, you've talked about it. What do you try different as a coach so that doesn't happen again? Because your, your starts in the second period, you scored in the first two minutes. That's happened quite a bit this year, but for whatever reason, it can't happen in the first. What, what do you see as the difference between your team in the first compared to the second or third on average? You know what? I think um, I've read a stat, and I could be wrong, but I read a stat that said we were around the top of the league of scoring goals in the first minutes, first couple minutes of periods. I, I, I read that. You guys would have to look that one up. But I did read that. Um, I thought uh, the other team did some things to us where they shot the puck a lot and it felt like you were in our end. I thought our goalie was great. I thought they had eight shots on their first power play, which allowed their skill to touch the puck a little bit um, and make you feel like you're on the back foot. But that's why Stewart was there and Stewart gave us a chance uh, to weather the storm, so to speak. We scored the first goal of the game, I think. What did you make of Yamamoto's first game? I thought he was well, very good. Yeah, I thought he was very good. I thought uh, he did some good things on the penalty kill. I thought he was physical. Um, I thought he was good. Yeah, we've we've missed him. You know, obviously we've been going through it with some injuries up front, and you know, uh, still missing you know four of our top top nine forwards. But I thought the people um, that were in there, we weren't perfect, but they competed very hard. Do you have an update on Zach Hyman and maybe how long you expect? Yeah. Be out? No, he's day to day. Yeah. And Fogel, how close is he? He's day to day as well. Yeah. Jay Connor McDavid has already surpassed the amount of PK time this year that he played all of last year. We saw the shorthanded goal tonight. Is that part of the reason for putting him on the shorthanded? Yeah, I th also think he's he is um, one of our best penalty killers up front. Uh, he's someone who understands how power plays work. The routes he skates are very good. Um, I trust him, and um, you know I think he when he's on the ice he makes the penalty kill better. Um, you know we're looking for other people to step up a little bit and take some of that ice time as well uh, but we're asking Connor to uh, you know calm the waters there on the penalty kill and he's done a good job he scored a big goal for us in order to, to volume shoot you have to gain the zone you have to control the puck in the zone you have to win the rebounds so why were they able to do that was it just a quickness thing or a tenacity thing why were they able to sort of have their way for for long periods of time in, in your zone yeah I th like I said Robert I thought we uh, weren't as quick and physical as we wanted to be after the initial shot on net do you need Evan Bouchard to take a step up there He's big, he's strong, and he doesn't clear the net perhaps as much as you'd like. Uh, do you need him to play a more physical game along with the skill that he brings? Well, I think I, what we would like to, all of our players to do is play towards their strengths. And so, um, you know, not everybody's perfect in every category of the game. Um, we want 
people's strengths to continue to show up and um, there's areas of the game that we're collectively we can be we can be harder for sure. Jay, did you you miss uh, Hyman's doggedness tonight to keep the puck in the other team's end? You had Jesse on the right wing. You had Yamamoto on the right wing. You had Holloway. You had Yammark for a shift. Does that show how important uh, Hyman is yeah. not having him there for his 20 minutes a game? Yeah, Zach, Zach is money in the bank with his effort level and his doggedness, like you said. Um, not having him in the lineup was tough, but I thought our guys went in and they can gave us everything they had. We lost a 3-2 hockey game. Thanks, man. Just going to circle back on the starts one more time, Jay. Not, sure. not necessarily about the first goal of the game, but overall, are you happy with the way your team is starting games and what they're bringing in, you know, the first half of the first period? So? Well, I would say uh, let's go to tonight because you you're circling back to tonight's start. Can we start better? Yeah, we can start better. We, I don't think we started the way we wanted to. The other team gets a say. They shot the puck a lot, and we weren't as quick on on uh, quick and physical and D zone like we wanted to be. And you know what? I didn't think we got going until the penalty kill happened. As I said, I think they had eight shots on that, that first penalty kill. So it, it, it felt uh, different. You know, uh, I thought we got going after that mark. And as I said, we started the second period the way we wanted to. It is, it is what it is. We weren't, weren't as good as we wanted to be in tonight's first period. And in the bigger picture, what would you say about your team's first period personality is it different than what you get in the second and third two well you'd have to again go look at that stat Ryan um, look at the stat on uh, how many times we've scored the first goal or not um, do I think uh, or what the first period uh, goal differentials are do we think we can is that an area of improvement sure Jay, you mentioned Holloway and you know made his teammates better. Obviously, the pass to Nugent Hopkins almost tied the game. He created a lot tonight and had himself, I think, twice in really good shooting positions. Is that a young guy maybe um, not looking to shoot? And maybe you try to encourage him to say, the next time I want you to let that go? Because he created really two good passes in both times. Yeah, I thought on the two-on-one in the, uh, you know, the quick little two-on-one in the second period, I thought he could have shot that puck. Uh, the one that the play he made at the start of the third period, um, I thought was the right play. And then obviously the pass to Nugent Hopkins, I thought, you know, their goaltender made a heck of a save. When you look at a guy and you see him creating like that, as a coach, does that carry over to the next game? Sure. Say, I want to, I'm going to try to let him start elevated in the. Yep, sure. Yeah, we're, we'll rewatch and and uh, evaluate. Uh, we'll see, you know, what our health status is. Um, but I thought he he did very well tonight, and uh, that's why he got promoted.